I want to share a little tip, something that I wish somebody had explained to me early on, because uh, it can be a little tricky to understand, but uh, it's one of those things that once you know, you know. So we're going to be taking a bunch of PBR maps that you might have downloaded from a place like Polygon or Texture Haven or Ambient CG or whatever, and we're going to set them up so that they work with Unity's standard material shader. I'm using Unity 6, but this works with pretty much every version of Unity because the standard shader is more or less the same in that it takes an albedo map and uses the alpha channel from that map, so as in transparency, and applies that as a smoothness value. Now you probably realized that um, PBR maps usually come with a roughness value, which is the opposite of smoothness. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this invert it, change the values a little bit, and then bake this as the alpha channel in our color map <clears throat> in Photoshop. And I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it. So I've applied my material here in Unity. You can see that it currently has a uniform smoothness because this map has no alpha baked into it. And I've definitely checked that it's the albedo map that we're taking here. Um, I'll just drop in the other maps here so that you can see the full setup and what we're about to do will change. So if we go here, you'll see we've got our normal map in there and it's doing its thing. You can see the texture, but like I said, the smoothness is still uniform. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our albedo color map here. I'm going to drop that from Unity straight into Photoshop because we can do that. Okay, and we can just save over this map once we've added in our alpha channel. So we can go back into Unity and take our roughness map, okay, and also drag that straight in over the top. We're going to invert that because we don't want roughness, we want smoothness. So I did that by hitting Control I to invert the colors, then Control L so we can adjust the values here. We want to exaggerate these a bit and why we're doing that is because we want to have a bit of headroom in Unity to be able to tweak these values okay, by adjusting this slider. Ideally you want to just keep it at 1 and have all your values in the map itself do the work for you but that's why I'm crushing these down a little bit because if you've only got this tiny sliver of grayscale values, you're not really going to notice the effect of it. So I'm just adjusting these a touch so that we can actually see some variation here. All right, we don't have to go crazy. Okay, and we're pretty much done. So all I have to do is control click on this group here. That's going to select all the pixels on that layer. Hit control C to copy and turn that guy off. All right, deselect any selections you've got going on. Then if we go down to our original albedo map here, we're just going to add a mask. And then this is the crucial part. Alt click on the mask and then control V to paste in your grayscale values, which will become your alpha channel. I'm going to deselect that. And then I'm going to click on my original albedo map and you'll see that it looks like it has disappeared. It's not. The RGB values of the albedo map are still exactly the same as they were, and you'll see this in Unity when we bring it across. But now we have a transparency channel using that set of grayscale values, and that's why it looks like it's washed out and transparent. So now we can go Control alt s and basically just save over the texture in our Unity project that we were using for our albedo. Hit save. Yes, overwrite. And then as soon as that's finished saving, you'll see that import in here and voila. Now we have our roughness map, which is now our smoothness map baked in as an alpha channel. And it looks fantastic. And because we crushed those grayscale values down a bit, we now have a bit of latitude here to determine how much smoothness we want. Now this is also crucial for uh, terrains in Unity. All your terrain materials have to be set up this way if you don't want them to all look like glass. 
because by default without an alpha channel they will have the maximum smoothness and it looks super weird um, but if you configure this out then your terrains will look better. Alright, enjoy! <laughs>